Our final entry earning the number one spot is a quarterback that not only is the most successful quarterback in the Pac-12, but may be arguably the most successful quarterback in the history of college football. I would like to introduce Matt Leinart. Growing up in the suburbs of Los Angeles, Leinart was considered a late bloomer. His peers described him as shy, awkward, and slightly overweight. He took to sports as a refuge from the ridicule that was common amongst adolescents. His participation in athletics not only improved his confidence, it developed his body growing into a 6 foot 5 inch frame, and he excelled in basketball and football. At National Powerhouse Martyr Day High School, Leinart became the top quarterback prospect in the country, leading his team to a league championship while setting multiple California state records. He earned the coveted Gatorade National Player of the Year award. Leinart had dreams of playing for the USC Trojans after high school. However, there was one problem. The Trojans were in the midst of a coaching change, and his future would be uncertain. USC hired the young and energetic Pete Carroll, which eased his reservations. He began his legendary college career as an understudy to Heisman winner Carson Palmer. After the departure of Palmer to the National Football League, Leinart won the starting job over Matt Castle. The foreshadowing between Leinart and Castle would become an example of underachievement of Leinart's professional career and the overachievement of Matt Castle, who found success in the NFL despite never starting a collegiate game. The Trojans possessed a roster stacked with future NFL talent, along with Matt Leinart's prototype physical size and athleticism. USC went on a historic three-year run that proved to be legendary while shrouded in controversy. In 2003, Matt Leinart and the Trojans posted a 12-1 record, capping the season with the Rose Bowl victory, claiming the number one spot in the Associated Press polls as the national champion. The following season in 2004 may arguably have been one of the best teams to grace the college gridiron. In that particular season, Leinart passed for 3,300 yards with 33 touchdowns, leading the Trojans to a rout of the Oklahoma Sooners in a 55-19 victory to claim both the AP and BCS national title. After posting an undefeated season and winning the national championship, Matt Leinart won the Heisman Trophy as the nation's most outstanding player. Leinart elected to return for his senior year to replicate the success from the previous season. That following year was a season of USC dominance and controversy. For example, the Trojans narrowly defeated Notre Dame with a controversial play famously known as the Bush Push. The Trojans returned to the title game against the Texas Longhorns in a battle of the undefeated. The 2006 BCS title game was a battle that was a part of college football folklore. Opposing quarterback Vince Young posted 476 yards of total offense, edging the Trojans in a 41-38 victory, ruining their chances at three consecutive national title victories. Matt Leinart ended his career at USC earning every possible accolade as a college quarterback. Going into the 2006 NFL draft, he was one of the top prospects for his position. As a first round draft pick by the Arizona Cardinals, his career as a pro was summarized as lackluster. After years as a backup to Hall of Fame quarterback Kurt Warner, Matt Leinart was unable to achieve success as a consistent starter as a pro. His abilities as a quarterback did not fully translate to the professional game. Over the span of a seven year pro career, he only threw for 15 touchdowns, which is only half of his total he accomplished in a single season at USC. After stints with the Texas and the Raiders, he retired from football in 2012. Although his success was limited to his time in college. Matt Leinart has become a successful sports commentator and analyst for Fox Sports, appearing on Big Noon Kickoff with former teammate and Heisman winner Reggie Bush. In addition to his success as a journalist, he has appeared on many nationally aired television commercials. There you have it our list of the greatest quarterbacks in Pac-12 history. Their talent, determination, and unforgettable moments have left an indelible mark on the world of college football. I want to hear from you. Who do you think deserves the top spot? And was there anyone that I overlooked? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay connected with the captivating stories of college football's greatest heroes, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss an episode of College Football Legends, where we celebrate the unforgettable players and moments that define the sport we love.